Now with today's sports news, here's Mark Austin. The Manchester United manager, Ron Atkinson, spent the morning denying that Mark Hughes is about to join the Spanish club Barcelona and the afternoon watching his striker help United to a 3-1 win at Oxford. The victory keeps his side five points clear at the top of the first division. Oxford's biggest crowd of the season must have been wondering whether Mark Hughes was worth the £2 million price tag when he fluffed his first touch in front of goal. But Manchester United soon took control. Barely 10 minutes into the game and a Strachan free kick had the Oxford defence floundering, Norman Whiteside gratefully accepting the gift. But it wasn't all one-way traffic. Oxford shrugged off the effects of their marathon midweek cup tie against Tottenham to cause a few scares in the Man United goal mouth. All the attention was focused on Mark Hughes again just after half time and for all the wrong reasons. A touchline incident earned Hughes, already facing suspension, his seventh booking of the season. Ron Atkinson must have questioned his decision to recall Gary Bailey when, from the resulting free kick, the keeper's hesitation allowed David Leeworthy in to snatch Oxford's equaliser. It was left to Mark Hughes to redeem himself with one devastating flash of brilliance, which put Manchester United 2-1 up and underlined his multi-million pound potential. And not content with that, the league leaders emphasised their supremacy over Oxford. Frank Stapleton's pace had the home defence struggling and his cross was perfectly timed. Colin Gibson making it three goals and three points for Manchester United. Two goals from Graham Sharp helped the champions Everton come from behind to beat Queen's Park Rangers 4-3 in a thrilling match at Goodison Park. But third place Chelsea won as well, David Speedy scoring his 15th goal of the season in the 1-0 win over Luton. And for Frank McAvenny, it was goal number 20 as West Ham beat Leicester 1-0 at Filbert Street. So with all the leading teams winning, not much change at the top. Liverpool slipped from third to fifth, but they play at Watford tomorrow.